scenery everywhere. We stopped at one of the dhabas after Bakura and we are now having kochuri and chola dal. Chana dal. Mai is also busy with one of the uh, uh, chop. Ma tinte khe niche sumi, duchi. I mean akta khe jikali. We stopped at Kanchanpur. We had uh, two teas and uh, four. Uh, sorry, six kachori and chola dal and one chop. Total was how much? 18. 24 rupees. It was a fulsome breakfast we had. Nearest to this is an, nearest to this is an airport. Now we are going through Dhan Charkan. Dhan Bad. Dhan The road is good. The sunny it's morning. Sunny. No clouds. We crossed uh, two tolls here. It is 9.30 It's 9.54 not 9.30 9.54 So you can see there It says uh, Delhi Let's see uh, The holdings are there Agra is 1040 kilometers from here Delhi is 1240 kilometers from here And Varanasi is 404 So our destination is Varanasi Because we would have a one day stay there As in one night stay And then next well, tomorrow we will push to Delhi so Google says 8 hours now. We are about to enter or on route to through Hazari Bagh. The road is good. It's, there is a tremendous construction going on of the highway. But the problem the government should look into is the cattle roaming on, on this highway. Uh, may be a major reason for uh, disastrous accidents that can happen on the highways because of these cattle. Stray cattles, or oh, probably they are not stray. The owners uh, they they get their cattle insured and they leave it, and they claim insurance and also from the one who heads the cattle. That's pathetic. Mm, yeah. Just imagine. Dular Yadav. Acha, Dhaba ka naam kya? Mehta Hotel. ये पड़ता है कहाँ पे? आठका ग्रीडी जिला. आठका ग्रीडी जिला हजारी बाग के बाद. ये पड़ता है exactly कौन सा है? Indian Oil Petrol Pump के opposite में. So now we are having some tea. We had two parathas uh, and one aloo parathas and uh, we also took some aloo bhaji. Alu Prata, Ma prepared at home, our kishiloda, and we also had some Bengali sweet dish which is called pitha along with it. So our lunch is done. Now we just have some tea and we'll proceed now to Bihar border. We are in. Uh, we are driving through Kondra, which is in Jharkhand. It is raining, raining heavily. heavily. the show
वी आर अबाउट टू एंटर बिहार इट्स लाइक मे बी लाइक टेन किलोमीटर्स लेफ्ट वी आर क्रॉसिंग थ्रू ए जंगल एरिया यू कैन सी इट्स ऑल माउंटेन्स कवर्ड विथ ऑल ट्रीज एंड एंड दे आर वॉर्निंग साइंस विच से इज दैट coffee break for 15 minutes at this restaurant which is Champaran Meat House Dhaba which is opposite uh, next to Indian Oil on highway on uh, Rani Ganj highway way to uh, uh, Varanasi it's in Aurangabad 
Green Highway. This is one of the longest bridge that we are crossing now. So it's never about the Stone Bridge. Never this is actually the Stone Bridge. The one that was there was uh, again a tributary to Stone, but this is the actual Stone River. One of the reasons, I suppose, uh, for the floods that came in Bihar was for the Stone River. And we were all set up. The longest bridge. I'll keep the video on. It's like uh, and two minutes were passed. We were I stopped the video. Years, and he was there. And he did his whole strategy. But I made it a point to make sure that I was in the car which was probably him. I got that one hour from there. Yeah. Yeah, I got that one hour from there. I got that one hour from there. I must have been asking very amateurish questions. But that yeah, one hour that he was in with him was actually more valuable. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was more valuable. And that did come no, from there.
when you drive on highway you would sometimes find there are people who are so such a big idiots that they would drive slow and that to at the middle of the road just like the bike person just we just went past and just see this idiot just as a भरत पटेल जी हैं एच में वाराणसी में ये होटल है होटल काफ़ी खूबसूरत है पर शॉर्ट स्टाफ में चल रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड वेल मेंटेन्ड है अभी कितना ऑक्यूपेंसी है होटल में सी हम रूम नंबर अच्छे वन वन फाइव और रूम नंबर सॉरी वन वन टू चाबी तो मैंने नहीं किया माँ खोलो थैंक यू और रूम सर्विस के नंबर सात है ठीक है This is our room in HHI. It's it was economical, but one thing was not good about HHI is they always say no about things. Uh, when we came here, uh, as in when we stayed the first time in Varanasi, we stayed at Meadows and we asked for Z Bangla. My mother watches this particular channel. They they got the subscribe immediately, but now HHI says no, sir. And that's what the review says about it, Chai. No, sir. So, probably is good, but again, not up to the standards of uh, guests' happiness. Guests' happiness, they don't understand. I'm going to the bar to see how exactly the bar is. चिकन मसाला चिली चिकन बटर नान एंड कुलचा वी आर वी हैव लेफ्ट वी हैव लाइक मूविंग आउट ऑफ वाराणसी राइट नाउ टू दिल्ली इट्स 9:45 वी थॉट ऑफ लीविंग लेट एच एच आई वाज वाज गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्टेइंग द कम बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सर्विस दे आर पैथेटिक दे दे वर नॉट गुड द वॉशरूम वाज नॉट नॉट दैट क्लीन They did, they did not give us hand towels. Uh, I asked for tea at 6:30 in the morning. They said, "Sir, uh, 
the chefs and people would be coming like 7.30 so you will get tea at that time. Strange part, right? Then I wanted to take bath, the shower was not working, the person came and fixed. He ensured that the, the hot water is so hot that you cannot get inside. You just control the temperature. That's pathetic, HHI. The bed sheets were not clean. I'll post all the videos, you will be able to see them. Well, it's rainy. Last night it was very difficult to get into Varanasi because uh, highway had no street lights, neither inside the city. It's all dark and people are such fools that they use high beam, uh, white light or halogen high intensity lights. You can't see what's there on the road then. And Mr. Modi, Mr. Prime Minister, please ensure that your transportation service that you offer on the roads is good. If you're making Varanasi as a city, which is uh, a destination for people to visit, please make it a standard. Thank you. Enjoy the drive, people. Ma is very sleepy today again. She started with her second second stint of sleeping. Then I told her to make a video. Now she is laughing. through Prayagraj. The highway is good. Right here you do have the street lights but there's no highway lights but uh, near Varanasi there is nothing. It's difficult to make out where is the cut. This road is okay. Especially in construction sites, there should be high rise lights so that people can see where the construction is going on.
I use that, it takes us directly to the Allahabad city inside the city. And the roads inside the city are not good. You can see in the part one. Uh, however, this highway is under construction, so uh, I, I had a word with him, one of the locals, and he said often you would see diversions. Uh, and then we keep on running, run till Kanpur and then Idawa, and then there would be. Uh, it would be connecting to the expressway. After the just one, there would be a, a place called just one. Then you connect to the expressway. So it shows like three hours nine minutes to Kanpur. Uh, hoping that by next two years, the, the this highway would be ready and uh, all these highways would be ready and it would be easy to travel. My mom, of course, doesn't know how to sometimes hold the camera. And that annoys me a lot. She has been using the phone for like two years. Now she's holding the phone when she's blocking my view on the left mirror. I can't see the left mirror. And if you tell her, then she, she gets annoyed. we got delayed because of uh, a, a scamster puncture person. I'll show you what exactly had happened. Be very, very careful while driving through UP. So they would often come and say, uh, get your tire checked. Of course there was a less pressure there. I'll tell you the entire story. But it cannot be possible that you have so much of punctures. 24 punctures in one tire, how can that be possible? It's not possible so easily. that we will reach home in the next 7 hours 70 minutes. One more thing, in UP, in case you need any kind of road assistance, you need to call 112 and uh, you can immediately get a help. setting now we actually turned late uh, because of that uh, puncture incident and uh, just to give you a brief so far I have driven 995 kilometers from yesterday all that uh, Varanasi uh, so this Ford has given me a very good average uh, with like just a little above the uh, half tank which you see out there I can drive like <coughs> 458 kilometers and it has given me an average of 20.2 uh, which you can see there and uh, with an average speed of like 49 I could not drive fast because of that puncture incident post that so I had to maintain the speed 60 is the average speed which Google was also calculating for that entire distance so the highway is good out here and I had to stop multiple times to see whether any any further leakages I had to spray that soapy which you the windshield cleaner on the tires Ma is also exhausted now we are about to reach uh, as in Itawa we will not be getting inside Itawa we will be crossing via Itawa Panchayati, what was, what was the name? Can't catch that.
Express, Yamuna Expressway. It's 174 kilometers uh, to our home. Shows 2 hours 54 minutes. So maximum speed is like 100, which is permitted for cars and for heavy vehicles like trucks, bus. They are like at 60 kilometers per hour. There are speed sensors overhead which can easily sense and catch your speed and can get a huge penalty for over speeding. This is a thali and roti and papad. What is it? It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's We reached home last night around 12 because we left late from the hotel like around 9.30 and uh, we also had certain puncture issues and so driven like 13.98 total kilometers from exactly 1400 kilometers no, not 14, 14.20 uh, then with an average of 20.9 uh, 53 kilometer was the average speed that I had. Thank you.